Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town uh, Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T, what's good, Joni? Oh, dude, you know, just coming with some truth, not facts, coming and then we talk the about it. Freaking the factual truth. That yes. aren't actual facts. It's the truthful they're, facts that we bring. Lies. It's not the truthful. It's not the factual truth. Factual lies. <laughs> they're not lies at all. Though. I mean, <laughs> I'm not lying about anything. It's just my interpretation of what the truth you is. You know, and see, and I always like I've I've never really liked the idea of I'm not lying to you if I don't realize it. <laughs> Let's get into that in a second. Thank you so much for joining us today on the Crazy Town Podcast. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel under Crazy Town Media. We got the podcast there, plus we got our video game videos. Or uh, if you want to just subscribe, uh, if you're listening audio only, Spotify, iTunes, etc. And this man's on Twitch. TNT Dynamite I'm on Twitch every single day at 9 a.m. Central. That's TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore Crazy Town. Come and hang out with your boy live. God, Jesus. So, okay. If you're. Telling, like, okay, which is worse? Because should you be telling somebody about something that you don't know is completely true? Or should you just shut your fucking mouth and well, not tell them? There you go. <laughs> if you don't know anything on a subject, it is better to not deliver false information right. without knowing whether or not it is definitively true than to give somebody that false information knowing full well that it could not that it may or may not be true because right. you know if something is 100% right and even if you're sure in your heart that something is 100% right but you don't know everything about that subject you should just be like man I don't fucking know that's true. Yeah, because like, there's been plenty of times that I'll be like, "Oh, dude, I read this headline, and I don't know exactly what the story's about." But but for the podcast, normally I do read the story, so I do have some sort of like factual evidence. I, I feel like even reading the story, it's like, where did you get the story from? It, can the reporting uh, reporter? Oh, a be... thousand percent. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because if people fuck up. <laughs> so if I take oh, also story, people have agendas. Yeah. So if I'm getting all of my news from Bright Breitbart, and then I come, <laughs> come in here and tell you something about Jewish culture from Breitbart, then you're gonna be like, yeah. wait a minute, where'd now, you get that from? TruthfulTimes.net. Dude, I read the story. Yeah, dude, I, tr I was at TruthfulTimes.net. You've heard of them, right? You know, they're a reliable source in news information. Yeah, dude, I feel you. Cause like, but like. It's like that, um... I feel like you just absolve yourself if you say, look, we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. This is a disclaimer. We don't know what we're talking about. These stories could or could not be true, but for the most part, we believe that they as are As far true. as I know, as, as far as I know, they are, there's yeah. some factual stuff to it. And that's why, uh, yeah. like on the old, like the old seasons one and two on the website and stuff, I would, uh, put all the, the links that I found. So people would go and look at the story themselves. Really? Now I need to Google that shit. That's way too much work for me. Yeah, it is a lot of work. Man. It was dude. Now what I can just doing? like write a note card out and be like, where'd I get that story? I don't even know. Like I, literally any of these stories we've talked about entire season three and four, no clue what site I got them from. <laughs> Because I don't write it down anymore, dude. I don't. Well, I mean, that's fine. But I would still say, like, if you hear something that happens on this podcast and you want to Google it yourself to find out if it's truth. Yes. And or factual and not just the truth. Look it up. If we're wrong, let us know. Yeah. yeah. We'll One thing I can guarantee a thousand percent is if you Google something that we talked about, you will find a story about it. Yep. And in fact, incentivizing if you prove us wrong. We'll give you a shout out on episode. Yeah, dude. So what what should we say then? Because like the the story exists. Because if you Google what we talk about, you will find the story. But you might find information that we don't know. So how? Or so is it truth not? Does that mean truth not facts? No, I'm just saying it's like like any aspect of the story could change the whole idea of it. You know yeah. What I'm well, I guess what I'm saying is like we say truth not facts. So is that what that means? That it's true that that story exists, but it may not have all the facts. We're speaking the truth because we're not intentionally trying to mislead. Okay. We might not be hitting all the facts because we are t we're like taking the actual truth and then taking a condensed version of that from an article and then taking a condensed <laughs> form of that and then putting it in and then our we living interpret room. Interpret it and then speak it. Yeah, and then, then it's in our living room. And so then we do it all in five minutes because we're the worst and don't prepare. So we're like, oh, maybe I <laughs> did I read that she killed him or did he attack her? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> that is the essence of truth, not facts. All right. 
Yeah, there we go. And I, yeah, so that way, that's I, f I feel you on that. Like, all right, I like the way that you we broke it down. Uh, Here we are, a hundred and however many episodes in, <laughs> and we finally explain <laughs> what it means to listen to the Crazy Town podcast. Found it, finally, showing accountability. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get to the stories because uh, we we have some truth to talk about. <laughs> Not so, sex. All right, what? let me ask you a question. Well, actually, first let me talk to you about how things for, first are in our country. So, alcohol age gotta be twenty one to drink alcohol. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Previously, back in the eighties. You could buy beer with less alcohol content when you were 18. 18, yeah. So you would just have to drink twice as much to get just as fucked up. So which, I guess, Stupid. helped save lives. Not or really. taught kids how to binge drink because then when they were 21 and drank the same amount, they were wasted. Yeah, it just made them alcoholic. Yeah. Um, so so that shows that say, you know, they were like, oh, maybe we should try a younger age, but the, the higher age is probably better. Um, cigarettes started, uh. started at 18. It's 21 and now. And now right? I think almost every, if if it's not it's it's pushing towards there's some states for sure that are 21. It's pushing that way. That's nuts. But after man. god 70 years they're finally like, "Oh, maybe 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 if we push it back a little bit, we they won't get hooked so young while they're so impressionable." That's nuts to me that they're still selling cigarettes out here. <laughs> it does make them illegal. Yeah, dude. I don't know. So I found a story about a a study that they did to determine the proper age for marijuana. No, oh, Jesus. Um, I better be eligible. I know that much. <laughs> 72 is the proper <laughs> age when you can start smoking the cannabis. Actually, I agree with that. <laughs> um, so if you had to guess, if you were going to set an age for pot, yeah. what age would be the proper age for people to be able – Like, I mean, obviously you have no – research like on the top of your head what would you think would be a good age uh i'm gonna go out on a limb here okay and i'm going to say 19 okay and what reason is that because 18 i feel like you're still a child you can there's a good <laughs> in one year you're all of a sudden you're still a child there's a good chance at 18 you're still in high school there's right a good chance at 18 you're still living in your parents house and you have not even like fully accepted being an adult but once you're 19 you're eligible for college you're going out into the world yourself you do what the fuck you want if you can die for this country 100 percent that you should be you able can to die for drink. yourself at 18 though yeah i i know but you know at 19 you're saying most people are out of high school yeah i mean like what what's the idea behind the 19 to 21 or the 18 to 21 what why is it these two ages anyway think about your mindset at 18 think about your mindset at 21 and at 21 you're still <laughs> stupid 21 you're still dumb i don't feel like there's much of a difference to be honest I mean, with you well at least it's like it when you're an 18 you still are in high school mindset like all this uh, yes. all this shit that is, doesn't matter at all is a huge deal to you because you have no example of the real There's world. There's a good chance you're still going to high school at your senior right. at 18. And even at 21, unless you go straight into college, you still have no idea what the not fuck's even, happening in the dude, world. If you go straight, into, if you go to like actual college, which you know that's probably not happening for a while, but that's when people get the most of their shit in. That's where people are doing the most of their drinking, their most of their uh, drugs, sex, drugs, sex, all of that shit. I don't really feel you're much smarter from 18 to 21. It's like you finally have the ability to binge on everything you haven't been able to binge on your whole that you've wanted to. Like, oh, man, I want to drink. I want to smoke. I want to fuck whoever. Exactly. I want to experiment. I want to, you know, and you're like, and they, yeah, they're like, oh, yeah, you're cool to drink now. <laughs> you know what? In fact, hot take. The only thing that you've done differently from 18 at, at 21 is you survived the not going to jail for three years. Because you're st Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, you didn't end up in jail. Therefore, now you can smoke cigarettes and you can drink. <laughs> and it's funny because <laughs> you piece now, of shit. like, it's like, as you know, as in, in I'm sure this happen will happen from now until I die. But like, you know. You re I think most people when they're 18, like you think you know everything, but in your head, you kind of know that you're stupid. You know, you don't really know what's going on in the world. And then at 21, you're like, no, nah, man, I got shit on lockdown. And then when you're 25, you're like, when I was 21, I was stupid as shit. And then, when you, then you're like, oh, but 25, I got this. Then you hit 30 and you're like. I was even dumber than I was at 25 than I thought I was at 20. And like, yeah, what happens at 40? I, right. I don't know, dude. What do you mean? I know, dude. We're going to get there. So what do you mean like, you don't know? I, I'm not 40. I tell can't tell us. you yet. So, um, But yeah, so it's like, 
it's like just knowing that as you get older should tell you and like and the people if we have anyone listening to our podcast that's 18 or 21 they're like whatever dude i'm the fuck i know everything i'm gonna be and then like in five years i'm gonna be like jonas tnt you were right, man. Facts. I was stupid as ish. <laughs> and it's not to say that you can't be, like, successful. I don't oh, think Oh, well, success, yeah, you can absolutely be successful. But, like, emotionally, mentally, you're just, you're locked into it because you haven't been on this planet for years. Man. Right. You it's, have not experienced enough life to fully comprehend what what life is about. Yeah. And there are exceptions to every rule. Oh, Let me absolutely. put that out there, yeah, too. Because I, mean, I know somebody's like, oh, it's not me. All right, and right, and that's true because there are people. I mean, there's there's 15 year old kids that graduate college. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, mm-hmm. so there is an exception to every rule, but for the most part, and, right. and most of it is like you thinking back about like God, like that was a big deal to me when I was 25. If that happened to me today, I wouldn't. I could give two shits about it. Like, I would care nothing. And like in high school, it's like, oh my God, somebody thinks I smell. It's the worst thing in the world. And then you're like, you're 30, <laughs> and you're like, I didn't shower for three days on purpose. <laughs> 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 Fuck it! If they think I smell, wow. <laughs> I don't. I don't do that. I'm so, what kidding. age did they said for uh, well, the consumption of a marijuana? So, what they're saying is, they're saying that a they had a study, and what it came is they said the a lower age of legalization it d- is the more is more likely to discourage a black market. A so, lower the lower age? they said it, the less likely there's going to be drug dealers just slinging on the streets because if you set it at 25 or 30 whatever mm-hmm. everyone up until that age is gonna be like i want to smoke weed i'm gonna go get weed so it opens the ability to have a market then what they said also though is they feel that people in this i don't know if i agree with and like i said i don't know what site i got this off of so it could have been like it says cannabis smoking before 25 is said to negatively impact brain function. What? What? What's so they're the saying, age in Canada? Think, what? What's the age in Canada? This is this is for Canada. This oh. is what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. This is all. I mean, because it, it hasn't legalized in the states yet. So okay. Um. So like. So I guess what they're saying is um, you know, and it, it kind of makes sense because like you're already pretty lethargic and like lazy when you're like 18. So, like, if you're smoking weed, which is something that can intent- absolutely make you more lazy because you're just like, I just want to smoke weed and lay on the couch, <laughs> you know. So, but I guess it's like, I, I don't know if they're coming at it from the aspect of my brain isn't isn't like emotion. It, it stunts your mental and emotional growth Maybe. or it like leads you to be less successful because you're just like lazy and don't want to do anything. Is that why alcohol is OK? Because it does the opposite it's a stimulant people most people don't drink all day every day people a lot of people can smoke weed all day every day and still like you can't get drunk at nine in the morning and function all day shower beer is a freaking thing man like you can wake and bake and go to work and do whatever but you can't get up and start doing tequila shots and then go to work and no one's gonna know that you're not drunk that is true but Okay, fine. So it's just, but so, anyways, I guess. So, what they've determined though is that, but here's why they, and this is kind of where I have my problem with it. It says the reasoning behind it is the later life outcomes were better at 19 than 18. So, if you start smoking at 19, Mm -hmm. you have a better life outcome than if you start smoking at 18. It must have been people they've been interviewing that longtime smokers you sure. know stuff like that sure so but the but like starting at 19 compared to 20 to 25 there's not it's not much of a difference it's no. not like a, a groundbreaking enough to be like whatever but here's that. the part that kind of fucks with me they're the way they're gauging this is the trade-off between allowing for an illegal market to the stunting of people's lives lives oh that's how that's the way they're like so what's the best ratio like do we want to enable a black market or stunt people's lament- mental and emotional growth so which <laughs> how do you optimize for like how do i flip the sliders in one direction i need to know what age is less likely to stunt your life and at what age is 
absolutely the worst for the or the best for the illegal market right so that's what they're trying to figure out it's like where on that 18 to 25 slider provides the least exposure for an illegal market but does the least they da- also does the least damage to a person that's what i'm saying like where's the slider at so if i start smoking marijuana at 30 does that mean that i have like the optimal chance for having a normal life. Well, because of that, I mean, at 30, you're but pretty if, much established. But what if I start smoking marijuana at eight years old? Well, Does right. that mean that the well, illegal market's going to blow up? I need to know where the sliders well, they, they are in either direction. They, they can't do before legal adult, though. They I can't mean, talk about. So it's like, but I think what it is is like, you know, obviously the later you start, the less of a chance you have of not taking opportunities to better yourself. I mean, I get it. Yeah. So it's like, so, because if, if they put it at 30, you're pretty established at 30 for the most part. And I could see smoking weed at eight years old would <laughs> definitely mean that you're probably going to have some some difficulties in life. Right, exactly. I could see that. Right, exactly. So, but it's just funny, like, the article is just like, yeah, they're trying to put the cost-benefit analysis to, uh, skits. And I'm like, that's kind of fucked up. I mean, look, I, okay, I get it, but if they do not take the idea of a of the illegal market into mind then it kind of ruins like the whole not even economy but the way that people live in that community because then you have a lot of illegal drug deals going oh right on. and i get it because like if you're like you can't smoke oh, till you're 25 people are gonna smoke before they're 25 i get it because you won't need to purchase weed illegally if you're of age right okay so the best legal age to just like eliminate the illegal market, eighteen. But they said if you they they from their study they determined if people start smoking at eighteen, there's more of a chance it's gonna fuck up their long term trajectory than if they start smoking at nineteen. So one year. You just said you you literally just made their case when you said eight, eight, difference between eighteen and nineteen, dude, big. So what year is yeah? But I just made that out of the bull. I was just talking out of my ass yeah, when but, I said it. But right, but they weren't. So <laughs> you science, you, science. It's social economics, right? So, but yeah, dude, it's like it, it blows my mind because it's like it, like, and I say the same thing because nineteen year old kids aren't. I mean, but I guess like it at least gives you the chance to get out of that high school mindset into I've been in the real world for six months to a year. To be like, okay, I'm not in high school anymore. This is how the world works compared to high. I don't know, dude. It just I mean, well. And for an example, I guess like in Canada, all of Canada was 19, but two of their provinces, Quebec and Alberta, did 18. Okay. Two years. It's been two years since they legalized. Mm-hmm. Quebec has now pushed theirs up to 21. Fair. And it didn't say why. And Ontario. Is there's now calls in Ontario to push it to 21. Alberta must still be 18. So, but I'm like, I'm, I'd be curious to look up, or you guys should look up for us, what happened in Quebec that they determined they needed to push it to 21. I'm sure it was just like, uh, well, Quebec's large, but I'm sure it was like people coming home and finding their 18 year old son and their daughter smoking marijuana or them getting marijuana for their younger friends. I turned 18, but my friends are still 17 oh, or 16. Yeah. So I'm going to supply them with what they need. Yeah, and by 19, you tend to like moved on and not because if you're 19 and you have friends that's, who are still in high school, you're not really hanging out with them anymore. That's my thing. That's why I was thinking 19 sounds like a good age because you've either moved on to high school, but you're definitely still not going to high school with freshmen. And trust me, I'd be like, if I'm 18 in high school and a freshman's like, dude, I'll give you 50 bucks if you go and pick me up a twenty dollar sec. Absolutely. Right, right, right. Because, yeah, because it's like you're it, not, last time in high school, if you have a job, it's still a crap job. You're still not making any money working part time. You're, you, you know, but so, at 19, I'm not talking to anybody in high school. Right. I've Unless it's my, like your brother or your brother's friends or something yeah. like that. At 19 years old, you couldn't pay me to step foot back in that fucking building. <laughs> you couldn't <laughs> right. Have. Right. You and, the, and, that, and maybe me. that's the mindset. They didn't mention anything, but that it makes perfect sense because at 19, you're either in college now. Or you're working, mm. you ain't dealing with high school kids no more. Like, and maybe that's part of the reasoning is like, there, it's less likely for people who are legally able to buy it to buy it for people who are under. Mm. You know, I mean, you're always gonna have people, kids who will go to like stand outside the pot shop, like kids stand out of convenience store, going, "Hey, man, if we can we buy some beer." Like, I had, I didn't drink. Obviously, honestly, when I was in high school, I didn't really drink. 
But I had friends wait outside a convenience store and ask. Outside a convenience store, not outside the state liquor store. And these dispensaries are like the equivalent and they're to a wa- state and, and they're watched store. like fucking yeah, hawks, especially because exactly. it's still technically illegal. Yeah. So, but yeah, man, I thought that was like an interesting topic. And I have something that piggybacks off of that that I saw. I just wanted to touch on. Sure. It was about, um, you know, like the government a lot of times will, if like a hacker gets in trouble, like a computer hacker gets in trouble. They'll like offer them a job to keep out of jail to help tell them what they know about hacking to help prevent other hackers. Yeah, same thing they did to Orochimaru. Who's o- we uh, do a quick explanation about that? <laughs> it's the Naruto. Oh, somebody will get it. All right, all I, right. It's a, it's just a, it's a okay. Meme. Cool. Um, so, but I guess um, you know, they also like were telling hackers that have not been arrested that they should apply to work at the FBI because they have that. But 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 the FBI has a policy that if you've smoked marijuana in the last three years, you're not eligible to work there. And the well, here, yeah, I'm gonna get to that in a second. follicle test. And and then the other thing is that if you've done cocaine or any other drugs, it's a ten year policy. Yeah. Now, in my head, I'm like, do they have a do they know of a test that you can figure out how like that yeah, cocaine yeah. stayed in your system for ten years? Yeah, because cocaine gets out of your system quick. Or any other, you know, any other drug. Like, yeah, pot. Like, how long does pot? It doesn't stay in your hair for three years, does it? But I guess if you have long hair, it does, right? Because no. it, the monkeys grow, grow in your hair. Is that how it works? No, they don't grow long. It grows from the root. So, but if I don't gr- know. I, honestly, I don't know how, how long the hair follicle test lasts. I just think that's a little that's a little ridiculous, though, to be honest. But, you know, whatever. When I hear the FBI is trying to hire hackers, it makes me think of the police station when they say, hey, guys, just bring down your drugs to the police department <laughs> and we'll give you money for your drugs. We're having a drug buyback program. Yeah, yeah, or, uh, and then they just arrest you bring, bring on the your, fucking bring your, spot. Bring your illegal guns down. Turn them in. Yeah, if you got illegal guns, we're having an illegal gun buyback. Just make sure <laughs> no, that's Cereal, scratch your serial numbers off, kids. No and, questions asked. Yeah, and then they just arrest you yeah, immediately fair. on the spot, and you're taken to jail. That's the same thing I kind of see for these hackers, but I don't know. Yeah, dude, I don't, but I guess, like, if you just go to the FBI and say, I'm a hacker, they don't know that you've hacked. <laughs> if you say I'm a hacker. Yeah, but they don't know what you've done illegal. Oh, I mean, there's that. But. Yeah, but I mean, then they, like, seize your computer, and then, then they find out. Exactly. So, but they, When they start looking into you. And they're they like, oh, let me check out. your uh, credentials. Oh, you hacked into Bank of America. Yeah, because guess what? We got hackers on the payroll. <laughs> we'll hack you. <laughs> then you're in hacker wars. Dude, hacker battles. Dude, they should. Have lit- hack battles? Yeah, I dude. agree. And, like, but it should be, like, they should. S- that'd be kind of cool. Like, if they set up, like, a. Uh, Systems that were like for like fake businesses, like you know, like you had a fake bank or what, and basically it was just like a real bank, but all the information was not real. And you had two teams trying to like hack in to see who could find what, who could get the most information without being caught, and like be like, we uh, we got ten million credit card numbers. And the other team's like, we got X, and they're like, but we knew we we saw that you were here at this aspect of whatever. I kind of feel like that incentivizes illegal activity for one. Yeah, <laughs> and well, two would be the most boring thing to watch ever. They're just like <laughs> they're all smoking cigarettes and eating Cheetos and shit. You've got like Kenny the Jet Smith and Charles Barkley. Like, yeah, he's real good with computers. You can watch. Him. <laughs> Sha- Shaq's like, I don't know what he's doing, but it looks like his fingers are moving quite fast. <laughs> he was actually born without a pinky, so I don't know how he's hitting that. <laughs> he's, he's only working at ninety percent equivalency. <laughs> But efficiency he's, but he's one of the fastest hackers in the west <laughs> <laughs> exactly so but anyways that is all the time we have today's episode uh, please make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel under crazy town media uh or just follow or subscribe on spotify itunes etc and make sure to leave a review of some sort this guy he's on twitch tnt dynamite i'm on twitch every single day at 9 a.m central that's tnt d-i-n-o-m-i-n-g yeah. underscore crazy town exactly. come and hang out with your boy yeah live. boy all right well for jonas tnt we'll catch you on the next one we are old yeah.